Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2. I have calmed down from last episode, and I'm just gonna... Just to, just to help us calm, all calm down, I'm gonna do a quick duel today. Just me against this guy. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try and win that dodgeball game, because I'm, a, I'm, I'm upset that I haven't been able to do it. And I'm upset that I'm the problem sometimes. Sometimes it's actually just me. Other times it's the spawn, and other times it's Jesse. But sometimes it's just me. And that last, yeah, last episode, all of that was my fault. I'll take blame for all of it. Alright, you'll do it. Let's see what you got. Ooh, I got a good hand. I got a real good hand. Alright, summoners are. Give me my blue eyes. There we go. Got this. Got the mad dog of darkness. And now we end our turn. Anytime we get Heart of the Underdog with this Exodia deck, we're doing good. And this is the reason why. Because now we can draw until we get a Spar Trap card. And who knows, we could draw all of Exodia now. Okay. I was like, we could just draw all of Exodia before that even happens. That's so com completely possible. We don't have that many draw uh, Spell and Trap cards. Alright, Ivan, you're great. Axe, does that mean you use Axe of Despair? Because why, why do you have Dancing Fairy? Your deck is called the Great Axe, so what is the point of it? Alright, just a defense mode monster, that's your point. Alright, Heart of the Underdog, very good. Cosmo Queen, gotta love her. Oh, piece of Exodia. Need two more. Mirror Force is gonna come in handy. Unless this guy never attacks us, then it's not. I'm gonna set this card for now. And we're gonna attack. I love that Exodia has arms right now. Look at Exodia. He's got arms right now. That is so funny. It's like perfectly placed. I didn't even do that. Alright, and to make sure we don't have to use any of our cards, I'm just gonna, or lose any of our cards, I'm just gonna set these. Giant True Nade, I could always put them back in my hand if I need to. It's one of the great things about Giant True Nade. Ooh, a face down. Hey, Heart of the Underdog. Heart of the Underdog. Heart of the Underdog. <laughs> it's another one, okay. Um, I'm going to summon, let's say Summon Skull. I'm going to play Heart of the Underdog. And I am going to have to discard this turn. Summon Skull, guarantee the kill. Oh, it's just a little Woodland? Okay. Woodland Sprite. And 1919. Very good. Dead opponent is always good. Alright, end turn. I'll discard Cosmo Queen. Because I can get her back with Symbols of Duty. Well, hello there, Rock Spirit in defense mode. Well, hello there, Fairy King. Oh, there's your axe. The Lucky Iron Axe. Okay, well, that's GG. Goodbye. Oh, what? My monster? Yeah, you lost your monster. I'm sorry. I almost want to summon Exodia against you. Oh my god, now I really do. Just because we have all pieces but one now. Oh, come on. Just give it to me, game. Just give me Exodia. I want to see the cool cutscene. Ah... Summon Exodia. Yeah. I'm in the mood for Exodia, so we're gonna summon Exodia. First things first, though, I'm stealing his monster. His monster's cool. I love my Cosmo Queen, but this Fairy King, I used it in Duelist of the Roses before. So I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> it's mine now. I'm just gonna take it. And now I'm gonna summon you. And time to throw away a bunch of cards. Uh, you can go away. You can go away. Uh, you can definitely go away. There we go. Ooh, what's your destiny draw, Ivan? A monster? Oh no, it might be that face down. Ancient rules. Kind of uh, not what I was looking for. I'm looking for more monster cards. Alright, let's try summoning Trihorn Dragon. It's a cool card, I think so. Alright, so I'm just going to end it right there. Let me just attack. See what his uh, best card is. Wabaku. Interesting. Ah, but that has to be an attack mode for you to gain life points, so sorry, buddy. That's not going to do what you wanted. And then remember, the only reason you're still alive is because I allow it. Alright, yes, yes, heart of the underdogs all day. Ah, oh, the double heart screwed me. Alright, well, I did say I was just going to wait until I won with Exodia, so that's what I'm going to do. I only need one more piece out of these 14 cards. I got a lot of powerful cards on the field. Look at this, Trihorn Dragon. 
Woodland spread again, and I'm almost won the duel right there by accident. Uh, we're probably never gonna need Ancient Rules or Insect Knight. Look at this body right here, he's almost complete! And we summon Exodia again, he's so cool! Alright, yes. Hopefully the second one's a normal monster. Hey, I was right, the second one was. Hey, again the second one was, where the first one was a spell card. Hey, again! That's three times in a row! Holy crap, but at this point we should have just had Exodia by now. There's only five cards left in the deck, where the hell is Exodia? There he is! <laughs> With three cards left, we got him. Yeah, this is a good way to win a duel. Yeah, look at this big old mofo. Yes! Unlimited power! I don't care how new Yu-Gi-Oh gets, if you draw all five pieces, you lose. Yeah, or your opponent loses. Alright, not- oh, that doesn't count as a match-winning effect? I th oh, I think it does. Oh, whatever. Well, now that we got to have fun, let's go and have no fun by, uh, you know, doing some of this. Survival dodgeball, yet again. Okay, good spawn to start. My opponents are actually pretty well protected, though. I'm gonna just go for that much, and I feel like I did great. Okay, I got one. One's pretty good. One is good, not great. Jesse, the angle might be terrible. The power was definitely not there. Okay. What about you, Biven? You're also terrible at the game. Good. Good. I'm glad we're all on the equal ground here. Alright, so let's try this again, but this time use more power. Okay, that might have been the same power, but different angle. So that angle... Oh, yeah! Oh, that has to be a cooler kill. That should give me more points for killing him that way. Eh, maybe not. Okay. I think it should kill you get more points if you can destroy all their platforms without hitting them. This is the worst spawn ever. Actually the worst. If I don't kill uh, them in this try, Jesse might kill both of us. That was the best I could do. It still wasn't enough. I had to aim high or else I would have hit the thing. Oh, okay, good. They're just as bad. So, Jesse, as long as you don't use the rugby ball... In fact, I actually is, I use the bowling ball. You Okay, you know what? If you want to use your turn to do that, that's fine. Just be more careful, okay? The AI, luckily, the enemy AI is terrible. And thanks to you doing that, I can actually aim at a lower, le a lower angle. So that's going to help us. There we go. There we go. That feels good. At least to kill one of them. Yes, it did. Alright, jewels might need a little work. You know what? You have the crystal beast. The jewels should be your, you know, that should be your opponent. No? Okay. Well, at least she put more power into that one. But she also went all the way back, so we need like a full power attack. There we go. Full power. Yeah! Oh, I was like, come on, come on, come on. Last one's gonna get her, and it got her. Alright, turn bonus is still above a thousand. I think that's good. If I can get my turn bonuses above a thousand, I'm doing good. Oh, way too much power. Holy crap. I wasn't even trying to do that much power. Interesting. Whoa. Whoa. Who the hell are you? Why does the AI just go from, like, useless to amazing in, like, three games? They still have one HP for crying out loud. Okay, that was a good throw. Yeah! And since they were fused together, I got both of them. Still though, that Kami girl, terrifying. The fact that she was able to kill by my partner like that, terrifying. Ah, <sighs> they love doing this to me, don't they? All right. Leaving me no place to go backwards, that's the real problem. They're not that far away, so, you know what? I still need more, but they're not that far away. Mm. Okay, move, Jesse. Jesse, move! No! You need to move or else they're gonna double hit us. And you didn't hit them, so you had to move. Okay, Adrian didn't move either, so I guess it's okay. It's not okay anymore. Because now the only place you can move is behind me, and that'll kill me. So I have to kill them now.
That angle was bad for this much power. Yep, yep, yep. The power felt good, but the angle was the bad part. Oh my god, that's such a good throw. Never mind. Oh, we're so low, that's why. Jesse, my boy, you, uh... Yeah, you just, you just don't like me, do you? See, he's willing to fuse together with his partner to say and make sure he doesn't hit her. You're willing to walk into me to make sure you hit me. So I gotta move over here so that you don't hit me again. And now we're in even more danger. And I know that angle was terrible, everyone at home. Don't worry. I know. It's all up to Jesse and me not dying right now. Ooh, Jesse could die right now. That was a terrible throw, though. Okay, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. In fact, now I can move forward and Jesse won't accidentally kill me. Although, it looks like Jesse's not going to accidentally kill anybody. Yeah, he already did this throw once. He knows what he's doing. Alright. Let's do this for real. That's a good angle. And that's good power. Best throw I could have done. Oh, I missed her! No! I thought it was good! He, she's doing the same throw as Adrian! I give up. I give up on the dodgeball. I want to go play Yu-Gi-Oh. I give up. It's I, I suck at dodgeball. I feel like if I if I was younger, I would have been better with the angles. As older, the older I get, the more, I don't know, senile I get. Blair, do you want to duel me? Just you and me, Blair. I know I've dueled you a lot, but that's mostly because you're like one of the easiest people to duel. And and, and yet you're a main character because you could have been my partner. You actually got a couple votes, Blair, when we were first, uh, you know, deciding on this series. You got a couple votes. So, Maiden Lipstick versus the Forbidden One. And this time I might not try to summon Exodia. This time I might just try to kill you. And it looks like I got the best hand ever. Unless she gets Heavy Storm. Like, literally, I, I don't know how she's gonna come back from this. Unless she gets Maiden in Love and Cupid's Kiss on the, on the first turn. Okay, who are you giving me? That just ends the battle phase instantly. Interesting. Summoner's Arc could be good. Problem is, I was looking for a normal monster at that point. But, uh, yeah. Whatever I get whatever is whatever I get. Let's see if she's wanting to tribute Oh, uh, I could attack her to stop her from tribute summoning. There we go. No tributes for you. Plus, all of your monsters are really weak, so I don't fear you. If you want to attack me, attack me. And that's why I thought. Your monsters are terrible. Third heart of the underdog. Wow. Okay. Well, at this point, there's no way I'm not going to draw a normal monster. Okay, I get your monster. Oh, you had nothing to do. Great, great job. 400 damage. I just need to draw one monster. There it is. Hey, it's even a piece. And hey, look at I'm going for Exodia all of a sudden. Hey, yeah, the third one was a monster. That's all that matters. Third one was a monster. That's all that matters. If I do this eight more times, I win the duel. Ah, oh, damn. All right, well, I had fun. <laughs> that was a fun time. You know, let's, uh, just to be sure, what's the, what is that card? It's Marshmallow. Good. This is why you make sure, everybody. Uh, I have a lot of monsters. And a lot of cards I just need to throw away, personally. Swords will protect me. I might have to go for Exodia, in fact. Yeah, because her cards are a little bit annoying. And I'm gonna throw away some cards already. Speaking of Exodia, I only have one piece, despite the fact that half my deck is gone. Alright, don't need any of these. I don't need Summon Skull. I don't need a Footballer. And I don't need Archfiend. There we go. Lots of cards to throw away. Yeah, I know. If I attack you, I don't... Oh, well, you don't care. That's fine. If you want to stall, I'll stall with you. You don't understand. We're in the same boat here. I win by... I'll win by a hand effect. You can't stop that. Oh, baby, we're getting there. Oh my god, I got it again. How have I not gotten any other pieces of Exodia? 14 cards left in the deck and there's four pieces still in there. There's one, okay. I at least got the big boy. Alright, let me go ahead and activate this card. 
I want a special summon my blue eyes, because he's the cool one. Then I want to summon my big old gene warp. And then I want to activate this card just so it's not in my hand. And I will get rid of you. And we're going to summon the summon skull, probably. Yeah, summon skull. And look at me, I have all these... Okay. Well, at least she's not willing to use that on my heart of the underdogs. If she was, I'd be a little bit sad. Alright, let's throw away everything. We still only have two pieces of Exodia with 11 cards left in the deck. That is wild. There we go. I'm gonna get Exodia. I've decided that's the only way I'm gonna win quickly. And technically it's quicker than trying to attack her. There we go. There's gonna be like six cards left in my deck. This has to be Exodia pieces. Okay, there's one more. I'm almost out of cards here. There can't be any more. Okay. Is my last card literally an Exodia piece? There we go! One card left in the deck. Exodia's coming out. Yeah. I was thinking of skipping the cutscene, but screw it. <laughs> no is my answer to that. Forbidden damage. I win by effective Exodia. Blair is sad. Sorry, Blair, I had to do it. A match winning effect, I guess that doesn't count. I don't care. Yeah, me and Jesse are becoming the best of buds. Alright, I've made you guys wait long enough. I said I would buy cards and I haven't done it in like two days, and I know you're all upset, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, you know, do what I said I would do and buy some cards. I'm sorry for making you all wait so long. I would love to buy some cards. Alright, let's see. I want your pack. It's a little expensive, but we're kind of rich right now, so I guess I shouldn't care. There we go. Uh, give me more of these, just because I don't have every card in the pack and I want to have every card. I don't know why I do, I just do. Uh, everyone seems to like this pack for whatever reason, so I'm willing to buy a lot. And there we go. Leave myself with $2,000. Alright, tricky. What is the one card- what is the one or two cards I'm missing from this pack? Not that card. Alright, Sadie, I'm also missing one card from your pack. It's not that card, and I already have one, sadly, so I can't have two. Dark Ruin Nightmare is pretty good. Pretty good. Tremendous Fire could be very good. Ceasefire can also be very good. Wow, we're getting a lot of rares today. Supers and Ultras. Alright, Meteor of Destruction has a use. Secret Barrel, no thank you. Alright, none of those cards matter to me. Gradius I like. Cyber Commander I like. Sasuke Samurai is kind of fun. Okay, Boss Rush is good. Rikoki, I like that card. Alright, so new cards, Boss Rush is good. This controller, yeah, it's it's actually just a really good card. 18 disposal unit. You know what, let me just go for new cards, just to see if I got any. Secret Barrel was the new one from Sadie's pack, so that's what I was missing. And then Sasuke Samurai is good. Flintlock, I don't actually know what this card is. Sasuke Samurai number 3 is cool. Former 4 is cool, so I'm just missing Sasuke Samurai number 2, unless I already have it. Yeah, look at that. So looking at the packs now, let's see how much we have. We have all of Sadie's pack. We have 97% of the most expensive pack in the game. And we didn't get any new cards from that pack. Okay. You know what? We did good today, guys. We did really good. I want to thank you all for watching. Sorry if this episode feels a little bit shorter, but come on. We got to summon Exodia twice. What more can you ask for? I know, three times, but screw you. <laughs> Bye, guys.